Hey, what's going on everybody? We are back with some more Genshin Impact today. And I have not logged in today. So let's check what do we got? Day login. Um, I don't know. There's one event that's going on. I don't know if there's anything else. Oh, there is. Okay, sweet. This event we need to do. Oh, there's a whole like thing. Okay, I didn't know that there was gonna be a story thing with her. Alright, so I think she's actually in the store right now, then. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Alright. Alright, let me check here if we can buy any more of these. No, we are, like, all out. So, I do not remember what I ended up landing on. So, let's see. Do we have 20? We have 20 exactly! Alright. Let's see if we can get lucky with this, starting off the stream with the pull. Hopefully, we can get her. Although the positive thing is the uh, three backups, we have all of them, but we don't have any of their constellations, so at least there's that. But please let us get her. Okay, purple, not bad. Although purple's kind of guaranteed, like it's always a purple. Alright, we got her. Okay, not the best of times, but hey, we still need to build out her constellation. Yeah, building out people's constellations, apart from like Razor and Barbara, we really haven't built out many others. Well, of course, the main character, but like other than that, so very little. All right, let's do another one. Ah, purple. All right. Ooh. Shit, new weapon. Never got this one before. Nice. And I actually think that's the uh, new character's canonical weapon as well. Okay, sweet. So we got a new claymore out of that. Alright, rip. We were not doing that well with those straws. Shit. Alright. So, that's over with. Heartbreaking, I know. But, uh, let's try to move on. Let's do the events. Let's go to the game. What does that really entail? Alright, where is this located? Let's find out. Yeah, I didn't log in today, so all the dailies are still up. Um, where are you? Oh, it's just right up, right up there. Okay. So it's someone in town. The bell. Let's actually take a look at that since that's a new item or new weapon for us. I don't know why I selected that. All right. Weapon. Actually, do we even have- is- are there any five-star weapons? can't recall if there actually are any. It's always so hard to tell whether or not this is good, except for reading, like, the, um... Like, the ability it has. Because it's, like, hard to really tell, like, how this thing will scale up. Yeah, looks pretty nice. Yeah, I think this was actually one of the first, like in the first set when the game first came out, like this was already one of the weapons in the game, and I have yet to get any of them. Oh yeah, 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 and the constellation for uh, that other character. Right to her, boom. Alright, constellation. What do we get? Eh. Okay. That's... That's kind of weak sauce. Like, how often does she crit? Unless that's one of her abilities, is increasing her crit rate. But, uh... Yeah, only boosting the speed by 12% for 5 seconds. 
after a crit. It's like that that's so minimal. It's like what do I even do with that? You do nothing. But uh let's head up and see what we got. Oh yeah, shoot, that was a real downer. I was really hoping that at least They'd have other characters that I don't already have, even if there are just four stars. Where am I going? Stairs. Jesus. I usually take up the left way, not the right way. That is why I am lost. Oh wait, no, he's not even up here. He's over here. Oh, weird. All right. Buddy. Aha! Join me! Give Windtrace a go! We have no meow meow points. Can we even start a match? Co-op game is loading. Okay, so I don't know if there is a single-player version of this or if it is all strictly co-op. But they're just throwing us automatically into the co-op. Honestly, I feel like the co-op in this game isn't the best. But it is pretty hard to do since, like, the base game is so, like, single-player based. It's like, how do you really make it multiplayer? A lot of multiplayer games are built up to be multiplayer, so... Let's get all those meow meow coins. And plus we can... Oh, nope, nope, going out of bounds, going out of bounds. Yeah. I use this? The sight. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, it was the Tanuki. Okay. That's what it is. For those that don't know, it's like a Japanese folklore thing, a Tanuki. 
is like a little raccoon guy that can like transform into like little objects and whatnot from his like regular animal form. That's what this is. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Those darn boars. This is actually a little too easy. Stone boars. Dang it. All right. Nice. Was I the last one? Or was I second? I couldn't tell. Yeah, it's just kind of awkward how it like loads out and loads in. It's just like a lot of weird like... Getting into matches with people and getting out of, it can just kind of be awkward and weird. So, that's why I'm not really the biggest fan of the multiplayer. Plus there's no like... Well, team speak probably wouldn't really help like team chat. Like there's the uh, text bar that we can bring up. But, uh, I don't know. I just, I feel like a lot of the times it's just awkward to get into matches with people and then, like, it's always a grab bag of, like, do they know what they're doing? Do they not? Like, none of them are really super complicated, so it's, like, that big of a deal, but sometimes you'll just, like, wait forever or wait a few minutes to get into a, a match. That's one good thing about their multiplayer. They, you never wait long to get into a match. It's just a matter of actually loading into it and then loading out and whatnot. Alright, we got something else that popped up here. What is it? For bits. We already did Fitty Wishes. Nice, that boosts just two levels. Awesome. Oh, actually, we could probably uh, level some people. Let's see here. What do we got? Um, I'm so bad. I still need to do some boss fights to get the items, I believe. Yeah. Alright, what do we need for Bennett? Well, okay, we need a we need like a few more fights with him. Well, let's level this boy up. Boom! Nice. Alright. Slowly but surely raising this boy. Yeah, god, I'm so tired. I have so many, like, cry- I've done that cryo fight so many times. It's just like, come on, man. Uh, and then, I'm so bad with uh, Zhao and the other new girl, the fire thrower that we have. Uh, what's her name? Yanfei. Yanfei? Yanfei? Yeah, they both take like the same rare item, which you only get from getting fighting the rock dragon. And it's like I just need to fight him a couple of times, not even that many. Uh, Ningguan, I feel like Ningguan is probably good, but I just really need to focus on her. I don't use that many spellcasters. I was also thinking about trying to power up Fischl a little bit. So we could use her like Electric Crow in with uh, Child and his abilities. Oh wait, do I have the... Uh... I almost have enough seashells for him, All right? Because I definitely want to try to level him up more. But yeah, Zhao, let's throw that on. Oh, so close. Alright, well, we threw all our paper in already. God damn. Alright, we got that. Um, event, let's see here. I'm assuming there's some sort of shop that we go to, obviously. Ah, oh, there we go. Whoa, okay, this is a little weird. Okay, whoa, what? Alright. 
One word art. Hunter. Rebel. Oh, we already got one. Oh, oh, these are like objectives, I think. Okay, I don't know why some of these are checkboxed and others aren't. Alright, maybe I guess I completed some of these then already. Oh, oh, these are selectables. Duh. Alright. That one probably seems better. Oh, these two are just like so even on which one you would need. Although the area is pretty small, so I'd say the scan is probably more important. Um, Insight. Okay, sweet. So that's how you, like, customize little attributes. I so hope that they bring a lot of these little games back. Because they've done so many so far. The only thing I'm afraid of is that it's going to have Overwatch Syndrome. Which, Overwatch, within the first two years of it coming out, they'd start doing little special events. Like, here's a Halloween event, here's an anniversary event, here's a summer event. Except after the first two years, they just recycled all of the same exact events at the same points in the year. Of course, they'd update them and change them, but it's like, this is always a summer event, this is always a Halloween event. They never really added too many new events in between, and if they were, they are only, like, week long. So it's like, I hope they keep a lot of these events that they've made so far, maybe augmenting some of them and changing them a little bit, or just, like, completely swapping them out, but I hope, like, the bulk of them kind of, like, stay the same for, like, the first year or two, maybe, or, like, they do a 50-50 swap where it's, like, every other one is the same as last year, but then the other ones were brand new. Because it's like, you'd always love new events, but at the same time, some of the events are real bangers, and you just really want to try them out again. Okay, check rewards. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa. Alright. Let's go and do this again. Oh, I hit go to game. I'm, I'm already there. I'm an idiot. Alright. Um... Okay, so I just need to talk to this guy. For a sec there, I thought, is this going to be a tactical game? Turn-based style? That'd be dope. Join me! Give Wind Trace a Dang go! It. Yeah, I still want to try to get Sucrose. Like, any of the wind characters, I have, like, I have, I have Zhao, which I'm super happy about, but just, like, huh. I think I just noticed Sucrose, I think, is the only four-star? I think all the rest of them are five-star. I can't remember how Zhao came down. He might be a five-star. And in fact, yeah, I need to look to see, like, how often do they release five-star characters, and how often do they release four-star characters? Because I think the new character is a 5-star, but I think the last one, the uh, fire thrower that we got, um, Yenfei, I think she was 4-star, maybe? Long, you'll catch a cold. Huh? Ready. Oh, that's cool. So they add two chat boxes. One that's like public and the other one that's uh, just for the people that are hiding to exclude the uh, person searching. That's a cool idea.
Crap, what the hell? Not transforming, I don't understand. I thought I just had to hit that button and it would transform me into something. But I don't know why it didn't. Maybe there's a meter you can only do it so many times a day or something? I wonder, can the other players see me when I'm like this? Dang it, this stinks though. Why wasn't I transforming? I tried tapping and I tried holding. But it didn't seem to work on either. Wait, is there a second? Oh, uh, if there's a second, if there's like a balcony up here, this would be an ingenious place to hide. It's just a crate on the side of the roof. Nothing suspicious here. Oh, that bundle of hay right there, maybe. Oh, there she ran. Or maybe only two people can transform at a time and there's a time limit. I don't know all the finite details of this. Oh, she got Amber. Oh, what the hell? How did I not notice this crate? <laughs> Oh, I didn't realize there was a floor. It's like, oh my god, I'm gonna die just like Santa. No! Oh my god, he's gonna win! I swear to god, it's that crate. Yes! Victorious! Good work, team. Oh, he's got Dayluke. Lucky. Button. Alright. Okay, I need to look at, um... The... Oh, what are they called? Like the perks and whatnot? Just to make sure. I, I don't think I switched any for the rebels. Did I? And if I did, did I accidentally turn off the hide function? <laughs> because that would be something stupid that I would do, probably. Alright, let's play this a few more times, since this is a new event, and just try to really get a vibe or the feel of the whole game. See, so far we've played it twice, and we've and the uh, rebels both times. A rebels with a cause. We gotta get that coin, baby. Sweet, sweet coin. Oh, yay. Oh, wait, what? There's these secondaries. All right, cool.
Oh, okay. I think I might have hit it and then hit and held it like too close to one another. It might take a few seconds to actually kick in, so maybe that's why. Because I tried tapping and then I tried pressing and holding. And it's just like, oh, I probably canceled it out by accident when it was still like trying to transform me. Okay, that's what I did wrong. Let's do this, buddy. Thank God there's no like minimum or not minimum, a maximum you can do a day. Looks like we just keep on replaying over and over again what you always wanted. Are you proud of me now, Dad? Except, let's do this. Oh, someone's already got her. Yeah, did she come out today or yesterday? I think it's today. I think she came out today. Galia? Galia? G U L A? E? Galia? Galia? <laughs> They're starting to sound more and more like Pokemon. Pokemon. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm a rebel as well. Ready, let's do this. Okay, yeah, what does the hunter, like, where are they? Are they with our group? And, like, they can see where we're running and hiding if we're in plain view, or are they not even spawned in yet? Alright, it doesn't look like they're spawned in yet. Oh, no, 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 okay, it's right there. I like the little triangle. Oh. That's playing in the background. It just makes everything sound more sneaky. Oh my god, we are so lucky. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, yeah, I wonder what other things you could transform into, because two of us transformed into uh, scarecrows, and that's kind of limiting. Especially if you have, like, three minutes to find someone. It's like, you could definitely search this whole area within three minutes with that ability. I think it's a bit broken. All right, let's explore this area, see how far we can go. Yeah, I want to see what the other person is. Because if the other person was also a Scarecrow, then it's, like, severely limited on this map. No, I didn't get to see. Dang it. Oh, we didn't even get 100 coins. That's sad. Alright. Let's try this again. Do I have to activate something to be the hunter, or is it just randomly selected? I'm assuming it's random, but I keep becoming a rebel. Gotta get those sweet coins, baby. Those sweet, wholesome, family-friendly coins. Fuck. <laughs> it's so fucking wholesome! It's crazy. Family fun for everyone! Might be the last family trip we ever take, so enjoy it! Stop crying! That's an old signs reference. <laughs> Great movie. Technically they were eating food and not going on a vacation, but same difference. I'm sure everything is all clear. Do yourself a favor and watch the movie Signs. It's amazing. 
It is both good and also at sometimes not. Those M. Night Shalumalamalons movie. That guy has a weird ass career. It's like super good and then super bad and then super good and then it's just like, where are we now? <laughs> Ooh, all right. I'm trying to see. Does it say what exactly we will transform into? All right, we're waiting for that one more player. It's weird. You can hear Barbara doing her humming, but it's like super echoey. I'm assuming it's because we're inside a cave. Oh, okay. We got the other mystery player is in. Whoa, wait, what? Socket world, we're gonna do this. I'm trying to look around. It says that there's a red gem near us. I think we're in some, like we're in someone else's world, so it's like they didn't get it, but still, it's like where are you? I just realized Frost is still in effect and I'm gonna die. Fairy. Ugh, don't leave me. Oh, thank God she didn't recognize it. All right. Oh, damn it. I think she saw. No? Okay, it's weird. It's saying that we're not freezing now. Are we just like, were we just that little far off from it? Okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah. We just need to be a little bit close. Boom. Oh my god, this is the perfect spot. Alright. Now it's time to play the waiting game. She already was up here. I don't know how she missed us. Like, she did that, um... One of her abilities, I'm assuming I turned red, but for some reason she didn't recognize me, unless it's like a split second kind of situation, where you only have just like the smallest moment, and I was covered up by the other two bo other three boxes. God, I get so nervous when she's over here. Oh my god, I'm the last one! Oh, I'm gonna be such a fucking winner. <laughs> One minute left, baby. You already came up here and checked? You ain't got nothing on me! Oh my god. Oh wait, what do I do? What do I do? What? Hold up until the time expires. I don't know what that wind thingy in the middle does. Crap. No, 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 no. No! Ah! I was so close! Oh, I should have started running earlier. Ah, oh, we were so close. We were seconds away from winning.
That was a good, that was a good shot. Now I know if we ever go back there. Oh yeah, we haven't really repeated any area so far, so at least they made like a lot of variations of different areas. I don't think we've ever been over to the other region though. Linway. Every time, every time I have to stop myself from saying Lian Yu, and it's like, no! Damn it, years of watching Arrow has screwed me. Getting all those coins, boys. Yeah, today we're not gonna... Oh, we're up to 600, I thought. Oh wait, no, that was the coins that we just got. I was, I was thinking, oh, I thought we were almost 300. It's like, no, we got like two something on that last one. All right, so let's do this again. And then let's look into that uh, story mission. The new story mission that we have under events. I want to see... Uh, what do we need for that? I probably need one more key for that. I thought I had enough keys, but uh, I think I'm off by one. And I forgot to hit. Yep, let's go. Boom. We're in. Actually, no, we did do one. The um, the scarecrow that was on Linway. Linway. Um, I, I can't pronounce it properly, you know, the bay over there. Well, yeah, I also saw a really cool uh, game theory video about how Rex Lapis might be destroying the world. <laughs> and like, I didn't even think about it until I watched this video. I'm like, oh my god, this video is ingenious. So, um, Rex Lapis, he's the god of contracts. He also makes all of the gold coins. So when he basically faked his death, he's like, yeah, I'm not going to be him anymore, like for a while. And he's going to stop making gold coins. Except you use gold coins for like everything. It's like, yes, you can buy stuff with it, but it's also used for, uh, There we go. It's also used for like crafting stuff and leveling up characters. And there's actually a reason for that. The description of the coins say that they're used as like a amplifier or a modifier or something where it's like you're not just giving coins to someone so they can do so they can like craft something or you can level up your sword. It's literally a material being used in the process of leveling it up. It's not you exchanging it for a level up. It's a literal material you're using in the process of leveling. So it's like if Rex Lapis isn't making gold coins anymore, then there's only so many gold coins in the world, which means you can only level up so much, as well as, you know, spend it on, like, food and whatnot. Oh, so lucky. And I'm like, wow, that's ingenious. I didn't realize that the gold coins were an actual, like, material being used up in that process. I thought I just, like, I paid it. I, I didn't really think about it. It was just like, sure, I'll pay whoever you think you're going to be paying in, like, your headcanon to level up this sword. A blacksmith, maybe? But, uh, yeah, it turns out, no, it's a actual material that you use up like any other material for leveling up that actually goes into, like, the magic of whatever hoodoo they use or do to increase their strength and powers. So it's like, yeah, so if Rex Lapis is no longer making any of those coins, the world is basically doomed because no one will be able, because at some point nobody will be able to buy stuff with it or like use it for like alchemy and like leveling up weapons and stuff like that. Like a lot of people are going to be screwed. So he might have accidentally triggered a end world scenario. And the gold coins, the reason why like they have that effect, like why they're used or like uh as a material to be leveled up is uh because I
Sorry, I'm trying to focus here. Crap, he saw me. What was I saying? Yes, the gold coins. The reasons why they're actually a material that is used in leveling up, it's because they're you they were created by Rex Lapis and he made them out of nothing, so they're like they're made out of like divine energy. So like when you use it for like alchemy and stuff, you're basically using like a little bit of like divine magic with the coins. So it's like, oh shit. It's like this whole thing. It's like, god damn it. Damn you game theories. Coming up with ingenious shit like that. Oh my god, we barely escaped that. Good lord, I... What's the range on that thing? I could have sworn that we were like in it. But we must have like... a. Barely registered to him then. Oh my god, we're gonna win. We're gonna win. Suck it, world. Yes! Victory! Eat it, you loser. <laughs> oh yeah. Last man standing, baby. Sweet 500, that bumps us way up. Holy hell, we're over a thousand now. So I should be able to claim a couple of rewards. I don't know, mid, mid middle, midway through saying rewards, I was having a stroke. <laughs> you know one of those. Uh, event. Yay. Check rewards. We got two whole rewards. Oh, these are 30. For some reason, I was thinking they were 60. Never! You'll never be as tall as Jean. Okay. Let's check this out. Oh, okay. So it is just a uh, story quest. I wasn't sure. Interesting. Nice. Alright, sweet. Oh, and we do have an... Oh, we have... Oh, thank God. All right. I... So down in the lower left corner, I have enough to craft one more purple key. So it's like... Oh, thank God. Everyone is working super hard. We should be too. Should we get started? We're already... Almost an hour in. Ooh, snap. These aren't limited time events, right? I don't think so. All right, we'll definitely do this one. We're, I'm going to make sure we have plenty of time. So we're going to be doing this one on Thursday, 100%, like right off the bat. So right now, let's actually see what, what do we got uh, shopping wise. Magic. Oh, oh. God damn. 13 more days still. Ah, you're killing me, Smalls. Wonder when I'll be as tall as my big Screw it. Sister. We're doing it. We're getting those. And we're gonna do some wishes. This is a bad idea. I just wasted so much on something so stupid. Oh, I believe uh, those are some new weapons. At least the uh, Buster Sword, I believe, is new. Alright, let's do five individual drops. Nope. Alright. My bad decision making continues. <gasps> Purple! What are the odds? That it's one of the ones for the other category. God damn it. Oh, well, it is electric, I guess. They haven't changed that banner in a while. Like, I think two months. It's been a minute since they changed that banner. I wonder when I'll be as tall as my big sister. Crap. All right. 
We just got a bunch of weapons. But we did get uh, one of that electric girl, so... Woman, sorry. Alright, let's see what she does. Constellation boost. Okay, that could actually be pretty good. All the standing around is making me so sleepy. All right. Wow, I made so many terrible decisions today. All right. Um, I'm looking at all these top level weapons. Yeah, we have all these crappy ones that we could probably just chuck or bury them. Hmm. I need to level this one up. As tall as my big sister. Yeah, I already maxed this one out. There are very few weapons that I've already got up to level 5. Many of these I still need to work on. Like, this is one of the few items that we can actually craft at the smithy that I got to a second level. Same with uh, Barbara's little doohickey. Um, definitely want to try to level this up. Anyway, sorry. Let's... Are you oh wait, what? Ningguan, why does she have such a terrible one on? I'm sure it'll wake you up. Anyway, let's get the teapot and get a going. So the bird showed up over the weekend like he normally does. And this time he had two new animals with him. So I bought both of them. And I ended up leveling up the island. And it did. It finally expanded the territory so we can now put uh, buildings further away. And the first expansion, it expands down onto the beach. So now we can have some beachfront like houses and huts, which I put some down there. Unfortunately, there is a limit to how many buildings you can have in a certain area or region. Or not buildings, how many items, I guess. So I had to take out some dogs and some trees. But yeah, you got little Husky, little Shiba. Not really, but kind of. Like that's what they're like calling him. And yeah, I ended up buying this nice gate, as well as the second statue that we needed. So now we have this as our entryway. Nice. As well as uh, the beachfront down here, which I threw some huts down on. So this area up here counts as its own little region, and then the beach down here counts as its own little region, I believe. So we can throw down a lot more down there than we can up here, since this upper area is so much more full and I'm pretty sure the bird's not here I always want to check just to be sure all right let's talk to this boy and get our daily coins we have put in much work of late and to much of I think I might already have the max amount of coins I haven't been here in a few days yep all full all right Ooh, nice. All right. As you can see, we're up to level 5. Us hitting level 5 is what caused the expansion of our territory. And we just need to get up to the 6,000 to bump us up to the next bracket. Oh, wait, no, we're already at 6,000. We need to get to 8,000, so we need 2,000 more-ish, roughly. We already have 200 into it. We Have, have you... And I keep forgetting that we have like a separate little checklist book of different things that we need to like complete. And that gives us rewards as well. Um, where was it? Hold on. Let's see here. Rank bonuses. So yeah, there's rank bonuses, which we need to do to like level up. But then there is also... What else was there? I can't remember where it was. It was another category. Oh, the teapot. There we go. All right. So for this, construct 80 furnishings, which we're, we're getting there. We're getting close. But then this one. This one I'm not 100% sure on how to do. You might need a friend to do it. Or you just need to open up another territory. 
Because if you remember, there's the beachfront, which we have. There's the hills. And then there's the, um, like, floating islands. I think maybe that would count. Yeah, the region style. But I don't know exactly how to unlock these. But it, sa it says increase your uh, trust rank to unlock it. So I'm assuming we just need to get it up high enough. And then maybe this will count. Uh, I do hope that they do add a snow, like a mountain snow area. But not have, like, you know, the actual chill effect on it. Because that would be cool. Alright, anyway, let's hop into the store. I have not been chopping down many trees, so I don't know how well that's going to go with us making stuff. Also, I don't think I can make a big fence, too. I wanted to do a big fence around the property to really rack up a lot of points, but if they limit how many trees and stuff you can put down, I'm assuming that they'll limit, like, how much... Like, uh, walls and whatnot you can put down as well. Hmm. Trying to think. What are some cool things that we could get? I want maybe some more indoor furnishing stuff. Maybe that's what I'll go with for today. Oh yeah, we do need beds, but we don't have a bedroom. The second floor is still locked, as far as I know. Oh, indoor pot plants. Yes, we could totally do that. Some books. Oh, I definitely want to get some carpet. Mm. Ooh, the fancy chairs. And then, yeah, this is a lot more, like... Outdoor stuff, I guess. Let's get a fireplace, see how that goes. And then we'll buy this weapons rack. There we go, we just bought a shitload of them. Hey puppers, when will you let us pet them, you bastards? <laughs> AI dogs need love, too! Um, we need to go inventory. God, I hate this this stupid little thing so much. And then let's- oh. It's like, why even put them here? Just have it under your blueprints, but have, like, a line and have, like, a separate category of, like, need to reads or need to learn. Instead of just putting it in this own weird little section. Because last time I did this, I accidentally let one of these go, because apparently you can let them go at any moment. Which sucks, because I had it even 10, and I have OCD. OCD, OCD, OCD. <laughs> Alright, there we go, we got all of those. And I don't know why the hell we have pancakes. I think I was in the middle of doing a quest to deliver them to someone, and I think I ended up dropping the quest, but I still have the item on me. Too. Yeah, and I have so many of these freaking things. Like, this is just a cooking pot where you can put down anywhere, which the game isn't like it's big, but they always have cooking pots nearby. So it's like, why would you need this? And then this converter, I don't even really remember exactly what it does. Okay, we have okay amount of wood, I guess. Uh, probably have to make some more of these. But yeah, alright. We read all those. Now let's... Alright, to craft some stuff. Oh, we can craft the fireplace right off the bat. Hell yeah. Alright. Ooh, yeah, shoot. Alright. Oh yeah, we have the log cabin. I, I, uh... That was part of the checklist. Ooh. Actually, whoa! Okay. So, on one hand, I have, like, mixed feelings about this crafting system, where it's like, I'm happy that it's super low, 
Because like, look at this. You need 12 and 12 to make this huge ass freaking house. Part of me is like, that's ridiculously easy. It's like, it should be a little bit higher since it's like a big ass house. But another part of me is like, shh, don't say that. It's cheap and we could do it quick. <laughs> so it's like, okay, there's a few things that we need to get. It looks like, uh, well, hell yeah, let's do this. Boom. Craft that. Make this throw rug. Oh yeah, we have three spots open as well now that we can uh, craft stuff with. Right, let's do this. And we bought five, so we are going to use up these three. Uh, maybe I'll make one more thing. I don't know if this is for outdoors or indoors. It was in the indoor section, so I'd assume. Oh, let's make this just to be safe. Alright. And then that's it for today. I'll need to get more wood and whatnot, which is like super quick. It's super easy to do, but still. It's like, you have to get, you have to load out, you have to teleport to wherever you need to, then you have to chop down the trees, and you have to load back in. It's just like, it's just like those handful steps too many. But as soon as I get this thing on PS5, it's going to be like, doesn't matter. Loading times, shotgun your way through them. If we can ever get our hands on a PS5, which is under $900. Alright, let's play some shiz. <gasps> Fireplace. Alright, let's see. Where can we place this? This thing has a huge, like, top part. I really hope we can put stuff down on it. Oh yeah, let's put it right here. Hell yeah. Right next to the kitchen. Crap. Zoom in. See, some of these items, I wish you could just, like, put directly into the wall. Like, this should be wall-mounted. It's a freaking fireplace. It shouldn't have, like, this back nonsense. Or maybe we'll put it over here in the corner. So you can stare into the fires of hell. It'd be nice out of the way. So no one will ever be all like, oh, what's behind this? It's like nothing. Nothing at all. Save. Oh, let's place this baller ass throw rug somewhere. Sorry, it's just controlling in this mode is just so weird. I'm going to put this as, like, the front door rug. Maybe I'll make a couple of them and have to do a full strip all the way down. Alright, there we go. That looks good. Alright. Wait, what is this supposed to be? Is this supposed to be a safe? Can't tell if it's supposed to be a safe or a drawer. Okay. I'm still bad at controlling that menu. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't say the name of it. And I keep doing that. God damn. Why am I so bad at this? Oh, wait. Hold on. Let's, uh... Yes. Alright, nice. Put this lamp over here on this table.
slowly making our way over. Nothing bad's ever happened with the gas lamp, right? I want to say that's center. Oh, hell yeah, let's uh, place this. Placing furnishing, please wait. Oh, I'll wait, I'll wait all freaking day. You don't even know, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, this is relaxing music. I'll sleep to this. It's just so repetitive. <laughs> Uh-oh! Let's do this. No, I do not want to do that. I want to do this place. There we go. Okay, yeah, it's weird. Where it's like you select it and it's like, okay, it's loading. And then it's just like you have to at some point reselect it. But it doesn't actually properly say it's loaded up. Um. Oh, let's put a puppers in here. Your name is Sergeant Buckwalt. You will guard this table. You will guard it good. <laughs> Just put the dog in the corner. <laughs> You're good, right? Alright. And then, yeah, I... I'm not 100% on these. I'm, I think maybe these give you a slight bonus in points. So it's like all the points you'd get for putting them down, plus since you've... Put it in this specific like setup, you get extra points. I'm not sure. He knows. <laughs> Alright, there was something for our No, it wasn't our adventurer book. I wish. It was uh Battle Pass. We ding the hell out of those coins. You don't even know, sir. But yeah, we could also put... Let's see if we could fit that flag in here. I tried to previously. Nope, oh, wrong button. All right. That will bother me. <laughs> nope. Mm, damn it. Just over. There we go. And this one. There we go. Ah, symmetry. Kind of. Close enough. Just don't look at it close. Aha! We did it. And yeah, definitely want to put it in a nice rug as well. Another nice rug. No, it's a load on out. That's how we do. Do 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 do. Damn you, Katy Perry. This is how we do. All right, let's uh. I can't recall if there's any other buildings or whatnot I need to place from the other day. Oh yeah, okay. It was a blueprint for a certain like setup. Oh yeah, we got a crane. That's what it was. It was the Shiba dog and a crane, which I put over here. He's a bird. Ah. We 
have put in much work of late and to much avail. Slowly but surely, the area is coming to life. All right, let's see what our points are at now. All right, they went up a bit. It feels like interior doesn't do as much as uh, out like full buildings, which I guess yeah that should work. But yeah, like we were at like uh, two ten I think. And now we're up to five eighty. All right, so let's uh, hop on out of here. Let's see if we get lucky in that match and become the hunter. Instead of the prey. I realized I completely overshot it. Yeah, there's... I feel like the menus need to be uh, slightly re reorganized. Like I said, for the blueprints, for the buildings, just have it in like a separate, like... Like have like a white line separating blueprints you need to read and then all the ones that you already know. And just like have that in one category. Yeah, there's just some categories in there that I feel like they could probably clean up or get rid of. Or just like split like two different categories and put them together in one but just like have a line down the middle or something it'd be way easier that way anyways god we're so close for getting up to 50 for our adventurer rank uh buddy all right let's play some of this Oh, shoot. All right. All right, right now, I should have done this a while ago, but I'm looking up Genshin Impact, like, furnishings. Like, who you can talk to and buy them from. Because I know that, like I told you guys the other day, I found that one carpenter that we did that side quest for, and he ended up having some, like, blueprint stuff. Ooh, I'm the hunter! Yes! He had some blueprints for us, so I want to see if there are any other characters in the uh, open world that uh, have stuff that we can buy from. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh my god, you can change it? Oh my god, I didn't realize. How do you change it? You guys are idiots. I'm like looking right at you. <laughs> I wonder when I'll be as tall as my big sister.
Damn it. All right. Shoot, where were they hide? Where, where was the last one hiding? I couldn't see where they were. Got some coinage. Loading back in. Invent something and the events just got unlocked. Did we get another reward? That was weird. All right, uh, Roboras. Okay, I guess we did. Oh, it's twelve. Claim one of those, and then apparently we got one of these. Yeah, these are way less important. It's like it's just Mora, which might be more important than we may think. But we also got some level up papers from that reward as well. All right, let's do this again. See if we are on the hunt. And I want to try to figure out how to transform into the multiple objects. Or like, how to choose which object we morph into. Because that one person cycled through all the different thingies. Alright, what do we got? What do we got, Jack? I'm almost out of liquid. Water. Okay, I think I found another person that we can buy some items from. And he's right here in Mondstadt. Nice. All right. Okay, yeah, so I'm looking, and it, I think there's only one other person that we can buy some furnishings from. Apart from the carpenter in, like, this small village. In this, like, small village area. Okay, there we go. I got super limited view. Oh, maybe if I climbed a tree and then did this, maybe that would have been super good. I can't climb a tree like this.
Crap, and I can't climb that tree. Crap, he totally saw me, didn't he? Okay, he was captured. He was a little ghost guy. Alright, so I guess we can see our friends, I guess. After they're captured in their ghost form. Old man, stop worrying about your... ...grandson. Or your son being a failure at being a son by not getting you a grandson. We so got this. We so got this. <laughs> oh, like this, I really wish there wish there was a crouch button. Oh, is, are they going after the thing? Is is there one? I'm surprised that thing hasn't descended yet. The thing that like reveals us, or maybe ooh, maybe that's just a specific uh perk that they don't have turned on. Oh yeah, we are so there. 12, come on, 10 seconds. Yes, we won. Boom. Victory dab. Not 500, but I'll take it. Boom, a shakalaka. Baby cakes. For some reason, that just reminded me. I am so close at getting 800 treasure chests over in the other region. God, I'm so close. Unfortunately, I've only found like one really okay guide at finding treasure chests, and apparently it's not super accurate. Because uh, when you look at your map, there's a percentage on there, and that percentage is like how many items collected and whatnot. And it's like every single one over in the other region is just like 95, or just like so close, but I can't find like those final chests in the area in so many of those regions. Over in uh, Mondstadt, over here, I am 100% in almost every region except for uh, Dvalin's uh, castle, with the ruins over by Dvalin. Okay, where is it? Okay, so we're gonna go see the, I, I'm assuming, other carpenter. That's for this city. And I believe we can buy some goods off him. There he is. Ha ha, the old man. They need to update their world map. The mini-map, because it does not show up on our mini-map. But yeah, that's the logo for uh, a craftsman that can sell you stuff. For furnishings and whatnot. Okay. I don't know if this gets updated. Alright, I don't know if these... Uh, they refresh their stores or not. Uh, actually, let's go check. The other guy, I bought from him, like, I'm pretty sure over a week ago. So if they were going to refresh, they would have already done it with him. So let's go check him out, see if he can sell us anything new. If not, it's like a one-time, one-and-done situation.
Yeah, but as of right now, it looks like only these two old men, these two old craftsmen, are the only ones that can sell us items. Although there was promise for, in the future, furnishings to be rewards for, like, future events and stuff. Or, like, uh, the limited time salesman, when he comes around, he'll also have some, perhaps. Alright, it's almost nighttime, and some of these guys actually go away at night. Yeah, I believe this guy is, like, in his house at nighttime. Nope, okay, so it's a one-time buy. He doesn't refresh his stock. Alright. Alright, I'm checking one of these sites. I'm just going to go a little deeper to make sure that it's only these two salesmen. Yep, okay, as of right now, it's only the two. But yeah, that's the locations of both of them. This craftsman here, and then the old man on the bench over in Mondstadt. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Alright. Huh, really, that's not two quests. Let's, uh, go in here. Yeah, this items... ...and these items, I feel like could be combined into one slot. But just have, like, a line down the middle. So it's like you move over using L and R1, but then to move around within a tab, you could hit L and R2. Because they're both kind of, like... These are the permanent items, but then these are like the temporary ones, but they're also like more rare or whatever. Or even these, these could also be another slot. You can combine all three of these into one and just have a three tab sub section. But anyway, I came in here to do this. So that's feng shui blueprints. And then we'll pop all those. Boom, boom, boom. All right. All right, let's actually look at what our wood situation is. I can't remember what kinds we are low on. Okay, we have more than enough bamboo. This is like bamboo central over here. So it's mainly these two, I think. This one, I'm not 100% sure on. The yellow leaf. I know it's over in this area, but I'm not 100% which trees are they supposed to be. Oh, wait, what? Hold on. Oh, we do have something. What the hell is this? Wait, what? Don't... There's something new added here. Did I just not realize that the whole time, ever since we went into that other dungeon? Because... Yeah, this is a new dungeon that we went into the other day. And then this is a new, like, boss fight. Which we weren't able to complete because... New world level and we get our butts pushed. I'm trying to check and see, is there another one somewhere maybe that I might have missed? They added? Doesn't look like it. All right. Well, we're already all up in here, so let's. Sweet, we can teleport directly to it. All right, I wasn't sure. Are you filling my cup? Alright, there we go. Oh wait, no, it just teleported us here. What? Ah, oh, bastards. Oh, bastards. Hold on, wait. Um, how close were we? Ooh. 
No, let's do this. Let's do this right now. Okay, we're gonna get main boy to ascend his like level cap to the final grouping of levels, all the way up to 90. Um, we're just gonna unlock it. We're not gonna actually push him all the way up there, obviously, since we don't have enough level up paper. But we just need a couple more masks, and we could totally get them just by farming some Haley Trolls. Let's do this. Okay, so we need, what, th two more? We need two blue masks. And you need to have three green masks to make those, so... Since we're on a higher world level, we should get those kind of drops a little more regularly, the green masks. Alright, where is you? Where is you? Oh yeah, plus we can get some more of these fruit. Yay! Oh, dang it. I don't think he dropped any mask. Come on. God dang it! The heck? These boys aren't dropping nothing. Maybe I should, uh... Find some archers. They usually drop masks and arrows. What the heck? Yeah, none of these boys are dropping any. Oh, yeah, maybe this boy here. Shoot, man, come on. I got a golden arrow. What the hell? Just when you need those freaking masks, they never show. Come on, man. Oh god, that like eviscerated. Okay. We got a broken mask, alright? We need three green masks to make one blue. And we need three of those broken masks to make green masks. If all they're giving us is cracked masks, this might take a moment. Yeah, why the hell are these guys just like not dropping any? We're on world level 5. These boys should be dropping them like crazy. This is supposed to increase our item drop rate. Ah, just so slow, I can never hit the pig. Or hog. Alright, hold on. Let's hit some trees here. Wow, whiffing, whiffing all the time. I hope they expand what kind of weapons you can have, because, like, technically, a Buster Sword user, the way that they swing, you could totally do, like, a Battle Axe character. And just, like, you wouldn't really have to change anything up. Like, you just give them a giant axe, which, since it's a weapon that you could trade off with, it would turn all the Buster Sword users into, like, Battle Axe users as well. Since it's just basically changing the look of the weapon, but all the set like, moves would all still be the same. But just give yourself a little more variety. If they were to add a new... If they were to add a new weapon, I think it would be either maybe a magic staff of some sort. And that would just kind of just be a visual thing. For the magic users, it wouldn't change anything, it'd just be a floating staff. Either that or like twin daggers. So, kind of like what Child does when he brings out the water daggers. 
Like, that would be another cool, like, character thing. So battle axes, staffs, and, like, twin daggers. Where twin daggers would be the hardest. Because that would be, like, a whole new move set. While the other two would just kind of be, like, changing the visual style of the weapon. Although, I guess with the battle axe... No, you could make it big enough where it would just basically take up the same, like, swing radius and hitbox area of, like, a regular uh, claymore. That wouldn't be that hard. Designing a bigger axe like that. That would still be the same. God damn. And, like, none of these boys are dropping anything. What the hell? So, technically, we're on, we are on world level 6, but we did have our world level dropped to level 5. So maybe that's why we're not getting any drops from this. It has to be on what, like, the world level you're quote-unquote supposed to be on. Egg. All right, let's 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 just try this out and see how this goes. This is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. It's going to bump them up to level 70. Oh, fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, it's not bad. It's not bad. Let's just hope these guys start dropping more. Is it more drops or is it just rarer drops? Shit. Oh, someone is firing arrows. Let's uh, go up there and push him off a cliff. Oh, what? The ever elusive treasure chest that comes back. Okay, this isn't too bad. But god damn it, yeah, it's they're not dropping more. Th there was only two guys, but still, like come on man. Where are they at? I just need those few masks. Alright, there's one guy up here. Let's find these There's no stairs. All right, there we go. Base arrowhead. Oh my god. I think you can't swap 24 hours after changing the world level. I think I'm stuck in this world level for the next 24 hours. Alright, I think it's like one in four. Ooh, blue mask. Yes. Alright, we just need one more. Broken mask. Arrowhead. Alright, let, let's see let's see what we have in terms of broken masks and green masks. Let's just see if maybe we could uh do some alchemy and uh, pump those boys up. Okay, uh, masks, where are you? Oh, you're right there. Alright. Oh, we have just enough to make one more blue mask, which is all we need. Suck it, world. We're about to ascend our main boy. I wasn't sure if I was going to do this on stream, but it's like, we're so close, and it's like right there. It's just a little annoying grinding sesh that we have to do for like 10 minutes. I assume nothing special happens when we ascend them up. I think it would be cool if something happened. Like, there was some mark to be like, oh. Like, if you level him all the way up to the max. Like, I don't know, maybe he gets a faint glow or something. Or maybe he gets, like, an extra swing in his combo. Just something to denounce that he's max level. That'd be so dope. I don't know where I'm going. No, it's not. You're a terrible craftsman. Let's do this. Okay, I can't remember. Yeah, we don't have anyone. I think there's... I don't know if Sucrose does, but I think there's only one character that actually is useful for foraging stuff. Or maybe it just depend, it depends on the item, doesn't it? Yeah. All 
Alright, we'll make two of them just to be safe. Show me crafting a crappy mask! Alright, we'll have one extra green mask. That should bring us up to 24, unless I'm an idiot that can't count, which that would not be a surprise. Let's do this. Why do I keep doing this every time? I keep forgetting it's Adventure or Rank 50. God damn it. I, this is the second time I've done this. Oh, we're so freaking close. All right, so we got the items. Why? It's like part of my brain just turns off whenever that stupid tab is there, and I just completely forget it and like do not see it. I just look at the items above it. It's like why? Why every time? God, we're so close. We're so close. We only need like what seven thousand more XP in adventurer rank, and like a treasure chest is like what one thousand XP when you open it. Or it's 100 XP when you open one. It's just like, oh, cray. I need so many. I need so many. And it's like, let's actually see. What are dailies? How much do dailies give you in XP? 250. So yeah, by doing all four, you should get roughly 1,000. So that would take like a week worth of doing dailies, roughly. To get it all the way up where we need it, I think, I believe. God damn. Oh, and we also have something in our events tab. Did we earn rewards without knowing it? We did. All right. Oh, we earned two rewards. Hell yeah. And I think that's more than enough for us to buy another uh, wish. I keep watching. All right, let's buy one. I'm gonna start buying those up now. Try to get another 10 drop, hopefully, before she's gone out of the store. Yeah, they keep throwing new characters at us, and it's like, that's why I was surprised when Venti was back in the store, because it's like, you just chuck new characters at us so frequently. Um, oh, let's see here. We have, I think it's character archives, I believe. That's why we got her. She's purple. When if it's a new character that's purple, we usually get them pretty quick. Uh, Zhao? Yeah, Zhao and Ganyu, we were super lucky. We got back to back. In terms of, like, we made a series of wishes, we got her. Our next series of wishes, we got him. It's just super lucky on both of those. Okay, and, uh... Yula? Yulia? I don't know how you pronounce the E in that one. Yula? Yula? Or maybe it's a silent E? Who knows? Yeah, there's so... There's so many of these that we just do not have. Alright. Let's see here. Sucrose, I believe, is the only 4-star character I don't have. And then all the rest of them are 5-star characters. Which, honestly, this one... I'm surprised she's a 5-star character. It's like, why? You would think the head of the Chi Sing, Ningguan, would be the five star character and she'd be four. But for some reason, she is. But I've been trying to build her up since I gave her that sword that, um, for people that have weakness to Electro, they get an extra 25% damage on them when it's an electric character using Electro on someone who's weak to electric. So it's an additional 25% on top of that. Mona is another character I like to get. Yeah, but right now it's like Venti, Jean, Deluke I really want. And then I'd like to see how her moveset works out. Although her moveset does look a lot similar to um, Chang Yun. Chang Yun. Yes, boy. Which I still need to work on leveling him as well. He's like... His moves, like, they're okay. It's just that Razor's ult just lasts so long. It does so much damage. 
So like any other alt is kind of a disappointment because it's like, no, it's a good alt. But when it's compared to like someone whose alt just sticks around for a while and does like a lot of damage over time, all the other alts kind of look crap to it. Unless it's a one shot that's insane damage. Which I don't know if anyone has something like that. Maybe Dayluke? In his fancy coat. I, will make you better. Have you heard I have not. The right of Where am I? See up one more level. Oh yeah, I, I keep on meaning to check, but I haven't since the 1.5 update. I have not checked the uh, bulletin board. I don't know if anyone, if there's any updates to that. I have it max level, but I don't know if they have any additional rewards or anything that they might have added. Because this would be an easy thing that they could do to uh, bring people back to the bulletin board is raise the level up to like 12 and give even more rewards. Like maybe um, some more smithing rewards or crafting, or even a new recipe. Because as of right now, it's like I never come to this because there's no reason to really. But we only have a handful of quests left in this area that we haven't done before. And I find it weird that the bullet board is here. For like doing these dangerous quests and whatnot, you'd think this would probably actually be up in the, uh, what, what's their faces? The Knights of Favonius. You'd think it'd be up in their building. Or like right outside their building. And then over in the bay, they could put their bulletin board in front of like the monolith. What was it? The, the Millilith? The monolith? Millilith? I can't, I don't know. I'm terrible with their names over in that other region. <laughs> I can never remember anyone's stuff. Alright, let's try one more of these matches for tonight. See if we get super- oh. Yeah, see if we get super lucky and break 2,000 in our uh, coins. Start. Oh yeah. Getting in there. Yeah, this is a fun little game. I remember when I saw this on stream, it wasn't super clear of what was going on. Like, it was like, this new event! And then it was just a character transforming into a barrel and moving around. It's like, wait, what? And then it cut to something else, and I'm like, what the hell's that event? <laughs> Are we gonna solid snake our way through somewhere? Which we've already had our solid snake moment. With our many boxes. Actually, hold on. Hmm. Let me check. So I haven't really been paying super good attention in terms of like item layout in each area. Since I'm not the hunter. But do they randomize where items are in each area? Or are they all in the same spot? At least if they are, that means someone could memorize a map like a fucking psycho. And be like, that box isn't supposed to be there. <laughs> This all looks the same. Oh, there's no boxes up there. Shit! Oh, wait, no, they are. Okay, they're just popping in. Oh, and we're still clear. Hell yeah. See, I think that's one of the things you need to be careful with is shit. Not be inside another item. This should work. Yeah, we're like far enough away. Okay, we're already one down and it's been less than 30 seconds in. Yeah, hiding up here would be super easy to remember that there's no extra box in the back. 
But like this, this hiding spot is like totally ruined if I'm ever hunter here because this is the first spot I'm going to come and be like, haha. You think me a fool, do you? Living box. I think not. Plus it's... Oh shit, 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 no. They do that every time! They do it in the front, but they always just like walk right past me. Is it that they just don't think that we, I can be this far away from the fire without freezing to death or something? Like what? Okay, we're just under two minutes. Where the hell is he? Oh, someone's burning. Oh shit, I'm the last one. I just realized that. Crap! Okay, I'm just really hoping that he doesn't have that item that changes, uh, that reverts us back. If so, then I need to start running. In fact, I'm in the best position because I just wait for him to run up here. And then run and jump off the cliff and then I could just glide on down and he will not catch me. Because I, I'm I'm 100 percent sure his glide speeds are all the same. So Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, gliding speeds are all the same, so it's like even if he's trying to run after me. I don't know if you can see the giant blue glowing light. No! Oh, we were so close. We were over three minutes, son of a guy. I think it's only three minutes, 30 seconds that we need to survive. <sighs> so close. Tasty cakes. Ooh, okay, this... Mm, does this put us over the 2,000? Let's find out. Oh, I don't think we did get over, did we? Actually, I don't even know. Is there a reward for 2,000? I was just saying. Oh, we did get over. Okay, sweet. Okay, rewards. What's our next one? Oh, you cheap prick. All right. <laughs> it's 2,100 is the next reward. Oh, man. All right. Oh, man. I think it'd be cooler if maybe they made a more chibi looking. I feel like this just kind of looks like a cheaper card. Honestly, there's not too many cards that look not that great. And unfortunately, this one doesn't look that great. Mm. I'm still going to get it. This one is easy to do. It's just time consuming. See, the this is the kind of event that I like. Not the other one where it's just like, bash your brains into the wall. It's like, how do you fight these guys? with all these modifiers on to get these insanely high scores. If they're not like already like level 99 max characters. But yeah, I am definitely, I'm gonna try, we'll see. I'm gonna do some treasure chest hunting tonight and I'm gonna see if I can get significantly closer to getting enough adventure XP so that we can, next time we stream, get level 50, maybe. 
hopefully i also do the dailies which i still need to do for today but uh yeah that is gonna be it for today guys that is the new wind trace events that's going on i couldn't remember the name there's still five days left of this game uh yeah i i like how they allow you to do a little customization of your skills like that's totally extra and something honestly i wouldn't even think to do for a mini game like this but it adds a little extra detail to it so that's pretty nice uh slightly disappointed on rewards like a lot of the time the rewards are like mora level up paper or primo gem and it's just like okay but i prefer something that's maybe a little more specific to the event other than just the uh, title card that they give you like for once i'd like them to do an event where it's like oh here's like a four star weapon you can get it in drops and maybe it's not even necessarily new but it's like oh you can earn it like do that every once in a while because like they pump out weapons and characters like crazy so it's like every so often do that which they did. The last event that happened, you could get Mona. No, it wasn't Mona. Who was it? Ah, the cat girl. You can uh, get her, basically buy her, right out of the event, which we did, and that's how we got her. So it's like, that's cool. And actually, yeah. Hmm. Maybe a recipe or something. Like a fish-related recipe would be awesome. But yeah. I really hope they keep doing that with characters, like selling them like that, but I also hope they do that with weapons as well. Because that's something that I completely under, like, look into. I do not look into weapons or anything like that in here. Which, uh, I probably should start. I know that I probably don't have the best gear on Razor, in terms of, like, what his weapon is. Same with Main Boy, I don't think I have the best weapon for him either. But, uh, that's just what I made, because I like it on them. But, uh, yeah, that is it for today, guys. Uh, thank you very much for coming on and hanging out. Tomorrow, we will be continuing Kingdom Hearts 3. Why do I keep playing these games on hardest difficulty? <laughs> uh, I got the characters up to level 10 yesterday. I'm going to try to get them up to level 12 by tomorrow's stream, hopefully. And then we'll see how it goes. Yeah, it's definitely... With Kingdom Hearts 3 and the game we just previously played, Kingdom Hearts Fragmentary Passage, I think they really hit MP and HP hard when you're on the hardest difficulty by just, like, not letting you level that up, like, barely at all when you're leveling. So it's all basically put into, like, your magic and your attack instead of your uh, HP and MP. So that's something I'm not a big fan of, but we're going to try to get through it and do that uh, three-man boss fight tomorrow, hopefully. And then on Thursday, we'll be back in here. Like I said, we are going to be doing the uh, new story events. Aha! This, which, like I said before, she's a descendant of what used to be, like, the royal family of Mondstadt. But I believe that was a few couple of generations ago, like 500 years ago or something like that. Somewhere between 5 and 200 years, I think. If not more. But, uh, yeah, I really can't wait to see her story, because this will be interesting. Um... I'm trying to think. A lot of the main story that happened here obviously circled around Venti. And even with uh, Linwei, a lot of the story that I find interesting over there is happening with Rex Lapis. So to have this new character and to have like their story, and it seems to be very promising, I really can't wait. Because a lot of the side characters are interesting, but they don't really have a good story like i like bennett's and his story was fun but it wasn't like oh this is some awesome story progression and just like really fills out the world it's like no it makes you like the character more but it doesn't like do an epic story which i feel like she definitely has the possibility to bring like a kick-ass epic story back to monstat which we haven't really had since the main story left here and went over to the other region so hopefully this will give us some reason to stay around here which, like, this is my favorite region so far. Just because I hate all the rivers and all the sharp, jagged hills in the other region. It's just a pain to get around in. But, uh, I digress. Hopefully, we'll have enough XP to get our adventure rank up to 50. I'm also going to try to grind that out and get that up. So, that's hopefully what we're going to be doing on Thursday. Yeah, we already have the keys to unlock this and get this started. So, that's what we're going to be doing then. 
uh, Friday, Kingdom Hearts 3 again. And then this weekend, we're going to be continuing with Near Replicants. I cannot remember what we were doing last weekend with it. It was just like two days ago. But uh, yeah, thank you everyone for coming out and hanging out. I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that follow button. It really helps me out. And if you want to see any of my past streams, they are all over my YouTube channel, which is the link down below. And if you're watching on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. If you can, hit that thumbs up. It really helps me out, helps my channel out, and helps my videos get out there to more people so more people can see them, find my channel, so on and so forth. You know the record my role, but you've seen a YouTube video, I assume. And also a link to my Twitter is down below for both YouTube and Twitch, which uh, says when I'm online, what I'm playing. And I just said what I'm playing all week, but... If you need another reminder, there you go. And yeah, that is it for today, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.